new or experienced managers. Our success relies very much on our ability to maintain relationships and retain good staff. Now this is very much dependent on our astuteness in being able to recognise the warning signs of a premature end to a potentially fruitful or productive long-term relationship. Just about everything we do has a lifespan. Okay, whether it is how long we stay in a job, it could be a project that lasts for six months, or it could be a confrontation that lasts for 10 minutes. Okay, regardless, our challenge as managers is to try and increase the lifespan, or in other words, try and retain our staff as long as we can in terms of being productive and being successful. So what I'm actually going to show you is a visual indicator of, um, I guess, mapping what the stages or the experiences of an individual are over time, especially in context to a new employee. Okay? A gentleman by the name of Richard Buckminster Fuller came up with this concept, and it's essentially a J-curve like this. This here, this axis here, is a representation of energy. Okay? So energy levels, as we go from day to day, this one here, is time. Okay? And then we have the J-curve which sits right here. There are four areas of this J-curve that are of particular interest for us as managers. The first one, right here, okay, is when uh, a new employee first arrives and they're really enthusiastic and their energy levels are quite high. But what happens inevitably over time is that there's a bit of a decline okay, in energy. So what happens is we move towards the bottom of this J-curve, which in essence, when you hit the bottom, it's called the pit. Now our challenge is to make sure that our employees, especially our new guys, minimise their time in this pit through our support, whether it is through coaching or training, to help them move and see the light at the end of the tunnel so that they move to this point number three, which is hope. And obviously from hope, we actually try and move them up to an experiencing success, which is up here in the area of joy. Okay, now, what does that mean as managers? Let's focus on this area here. We need to be very aware of the energy loss. We need to make sure we do the right things at the right time, as I said, whether it be coaching, training, or mentoring, so that they spend as little time here as possible and start moving up the curve and start experiencing success which is joy. As we all know, the more successful our staff feel, the longer they'll stay with us.